Vladimir Migre. His spiritual revelations are truly creating a bright future, and the first shoots of that future can already be seen today. Vladimir Migre is the author of the Ringing Cedars of Russia series, which has been published in numerous countries in millions of copies with millions of readers, leaving hundreds of thousands of comments. The writer's following grows year by year. Poems and songs are written about his characters, who have also been featured in paintings. The main character in Vladimir Megre's book is Anastasia, a young reclusive living in the Siberian taiga. His stories about her are unusual and largely fantastical. Her vivid image has aroused a lively response in the hearts of his readers. Many of them have radically changed their outlook on the world and even their way of life under the influence of his stories. In his books, Vladimir Megre raises eternal questions about human society. If mankind is a race of rational beings, why does it pollute the water it drinks and the air it breathes? Why are endless conversations about spirituality and common human values carried out against the background of ceaseless wars in which each side defends its own concept of humanity and culture with guns in hand? Anastasia is surrounded by nature in all of its diversity and inviolability. She eats healthy food and drinks clean water. Why then do other people, sometimes working in inhumane conditions, have to put up with food enriched only with preservatives and coloring agents and waters of dubious quality? What must each of us do in order to turn the planet into a flourishing garden and to bring our families' lives into harmony with nature and the laws of morality? In his search for answers to these difficult questions, Vladimir Megre has become firmly convinced that the first important step on the way to a life of harmony for every family can simply be the improvement of one hectare of land. Transformed into a true oasis, this hectare should become a genuine family estate. These arguments form the basis of Anastasia's philosophical parables. A person is born on the earth, but where is his own little piece of that earth? Where is that person's little homeland? asks Anastasia. Where is the little heavenly oasis where a family can live for generations? People, reclaim your homeland, she urges. From many lofty platforms come appeals to protect nature, to be solicitous towards its riches, and to be responsible in the consumption of finite resources. But these appeals are no more than words and do not essentially change anything in individual people or in society as a whole. Vladimir Megre's books, though, are turning words into action. His plea to people to improve their living environment, set out in an unusual artistic form, has proved more powerful than the edicts of many authorities. In countries where Vladimir Megre's books are published, people inspired by his ideas are forming associations to organize settlements consisting of family estates. They are people of various religions, nationalities, and social groups. The creation of these settlements heralds the beginning of the evolution of a way of life for human society. In Russia, readers of the Ringing Cedars of Russia series have already founded over 200 of these settlements, and their number is increasing each year. Citizens of the Ukraine, Belarus, Germany, and other countries are also joining the movement to improve their living environment. We are making these plots of land oases for ourselves and our descendants. Our countries will prosper not only through scientific achievements, but also through the gardens of our estates. We have had enough of waiting for favors. We have to provide a decent environment for our children to live in. These are excerpts from the letters of readers who have been inspired by the author's works, and they are backing up their words with concrete actions. Meanwhile, Vladimir Migre is preparing his next book for publication.